All right, everybody, uh, this is Amin Mojara. Um, I wanted to piggyback off of one of my last, um, one of my, um, uh, one of my um, previous YouTube videos that I just did recently. Um, it's this one right here, running a running node on a domain using a GoDaddy uh, dedicated server. Um, and I did this uh on uh december 24th 2015 so it's been it's been almost five months um and i wanted to show you how to run multiple node applications on different domains on your server um because one of the things that this video did not show you was Okay, if you got an IP address and it's not listening, um, and Apache is not listening to it, and you're running a node server, um, how can you run more than one application and more than um, on one on more than one domain? So I wanted to show you that. <clears throat> so the process is is that you have to have Nginx installed besides uh, beside Apache. Um, now. There is a thing I don't know with other host hosting uh, with other um, internet um, hosting providers that provide dedicated servers, but I'm putting GoDaddy on blast right now because at the time of this recording of this video, um, they did not help with any of this. Even though I pay them, you know, to to take the headache out of stuff like this. Um, so. Um, it was very difficult um, installing Nginx um, on in on my box and running it side by side with Apache. Not because I don't know how; it's because of the default configuration that GoDaddy gives gives out of the box. And so having to go in there and to figure that out and having to deal with the cPanel and the WHM configurations was a was a challenge. But I'm in this video. I'm going to show you how to overcome that. Um, and specifically, the reason why it was a challenge is because I'm running a version of CentOS, uh, CentOS 6.7. So any version of six, um, you're going to have to be very, um, you're going to have to be very specific on how you install um, Nginx on there, and you should install it um, using Yum. But let me show you how to. So let's first do that. Here's this article right here um, called um, Nginx on CentOS um, um, RAW, Rails 7.1 and 6.7 via YUM. So down here is showing you that you have to um, install um, the latest from Webtastic because uh, you should already have this if you have your dedicated server, this first repo, uh, the Fedora project. But then you should install um, uh, this from um, Webtastic, this re, uh, this RPM, and then go ahead and yum install Nginx with the one one eight at the end, um, and that should install. And you can find your configurations on etc. Um, dot engin, I mean nt e, slash etc slash Nginx. So let me show you. So if we go to cd slash etc Nginx. And we listed, and as you can see, Nginx is there. And so now we have our um, configuration right here, this Nginx, um, nginx.conf conf file. Um, so, um, you know, and then the other thing is, is that on other tutorials, it tells you to do the system CTL Nginx.start or restart or stop. Well, with this configuration, you use the service command Nginx uh, restart, stop, or start because system D and system CTL are not um, available on Cent, 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 Cent OS 6.7. I'd really want, I really, really would want GoDaddy to update my um, version, um, especially the amount of money I pay them. Um, but that's another story. But just to let you know that I had to figure out figure this stuff out all by myself, and so um, that's why I'm giving it to you. For those of you who have GoDaddy servers, or any of you who have 
dedicated boxes and are trying to figure this out and want to keep your Apache installations, but also want to run Nginx. So, so this is the first article. And so before we get into um, running uh, the actual domains, I want you to see that I'm running applications of hello node at hello node at company on 8080 and on my IP address and on 9000, um, you know that and my IP address. And of course I have domains to correspond to this. So now that I have application service, so if I if I actually show you this, so let me go to CD slash home slash first node at node app company and then pub, the public HTML folder. And then if I if I uh, list uh, everything, I got a server.js. So if I go ahead and cat that server.js and show you what's in there, all I'm doing is I'm requiring the, the HTTP server, um, the HTTP module, and then I'm creating a server like in the last one. I'm you know I'm giving a response dot header. I'm wanted the header type to be plain dot HTML, and I'm just wanting to go node app company. I wanted to listen on port 8080 and I wanted to point and I wanted to listen to my IP address and and then I'm running my commands and then I'm even um, doing a console.log down here just just so that it can run but I really don't need that console.log and so if I go to the uh, know that company I mean not know that company the you know that um, public HTML and I list that I got another server.js and so if I cat that and I have the same type of setup and except this is on port 9000 so I'm having a list on port 8080 and on port 9000 so as you can see they're both working you know that um, and um, know that company hello know that company and hello uh, you know that so um so what I want to do is to show you how to now have those application have this application server. So these application servers are running on a on, on a are being powered by a daemon called PM2. So um PM2 if I go PM2 list these are the processes that this daemon is running. It's both uh, running these two server files and you know they've been up for one's been up for 57 minutes one's been up for 21 minutes but that's not that's neither here or there so um so so now the 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 app servers are running so i want them to be proxied by pm2 i mean by nginx so this digital ocean is the bomb y'all um they are doing a whole lot of things to help those who are true hardcore web developers that are working on Linux boxes, whether you're working with Java applications, Node.js applications, check out DigitalOcean. But they give down here a very good example of how to reverse proxy to a Node.js uh, application. So I have my Node application server running right here, and I just need a web server to proxy it. And Nginx is a perfect uh uh, web server to do that because it doesn't have a lot of overhead like Apache and it's extremely fast and it can do a lot of things and and of course using this as a re as a reverse proxy you can spin up all kinds of node applications on different ports 8080 81 8081 8082 9001 9030 or whatever and you can really do some real just great things, you know, and 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 it's all being proxied and, and served up through this web server being powered um, by this application server. So what you need to do is go ahead and go through this, and I'm putting this in the YouTube tutorial. Go through this uh, um, this Digital Ocean um, article, this first one, and it first explains how to proxy and set up one. Um, uh, Node.js server and to, you know, I mean, Node.js domain and to proxy it and to run it and all that. Then what you need to do is you need to go to a second DigitalOcean article 
and learn how to set up Nginx server blocks, which I'm going to show you all this. That's why I'm spinning through this. Um, and these server blocks basically give the, give this give this to you. And I'm also going to create a gist for you guys to um, be able to see my actual server file. And you can actually click on, you know, copy that and do what you need to do. And then this also, this last article um, shows you how uh, both um, um, Apache and Nginx plays um, nice with each other side by side. Just make sure you follow my first tutorial in the first video and un make sure that um, Apache is not listening to the domain that uh, uh, Nginx is working on and, and you'll be good. Uh, and so let's see this in action. So if I go to CD, well, if I just go to nano slash ETC slash Nginx, uh, Nginx conf, what you will see here is my first server block right here where it's listening on my IP address um, and of course it's listening on the port of 80 that never changes but then I'm giving my domain um, first the one without the www then the one with the www um, and then I go into my location block and this is key and my location block I want to port, point to my my HTML folder where my public um, my static content is going to be served up and I want to make sure I give it the file types that it should be looking for. And then I want to also point to my error pages. Um, and then I want to also give it my proxy, um, my proxy, the, the proxy that it's going to be proxying, which right here is going to be 8080. And that's all you do. And then you come down, you create another location block. And you do the same thing. Of course, it's going to be listening on 80 again for the same IP address. But this time you give it a different server name. Um, and then you just give it a different path for the public HTML folder where it's going to be serving up your uh, static content. And then you give it the proxy, uh, which right here is 9000. And it's that simple. And again, I'm going to put this in the gist um, so that you guys can have it um, and, and you'll love it. And then you just go ahead and you... Um, you save that and then you then then just make sure you run your command of the in service engine x start or restart or um or stop and you know so let me let me just show you so i just go uh so i just go service engine x stop that means it's okay and I want to go ahead and start it again. If I get an error, well, I didn't get an error, so now it's starting. So I'm good. So now if I go out to my browser and I go to nodeappcompany.com and I refresh my browser, as you can see, it says, hello, Node App Company, just as it is on that IP address. And then if I go to you know that, boom, it's the same thing um, as the IP address of 9000. So as you can see, it's proxying. It's working well. Um, I'm going to be making some great videos on building some awesome applications um, using Node, where where it's using um, Express on the back end. You can do some Angular apps, some just some great things. So this is a major thing because um, I haven't seen any videos out there, and I wanted to give this to you guys. Um, and again, I'm going to have the links pasted in for, to the articles that. We'll help you guys put all this together and basically that server block file this server block file um, will will basically answer all your questions so i want to thank you guys for um allowing me to um or watching my video and um as you can see it works thanks